Hello guys, welcome to FM 2019 and another team guide. Today we are looking at Greek champion Ike Athens and we are going to check their training facilities, finances, team dynamics, best players, what kind of tactic best suits to this team and who to sign. So let's start from the training facilities. Let's check them. So we can see that facilities are fine. They're not great, but they're not bad either. Training facilities 13, youth facilities 12, junior coaching 12, youth recruitment 13, and corporate facilities 10. But when you get some bigger money, you should invest, of course, in special and youth facilities. Okay, now let's check our finances for this year. And we can see that finances are not great at all. We have only half of a million in our transfer budget. That's really nothing. Payroll wage budget is much better, 13 millions. Do we have some debts and loans? No, we don't have, that's a good thing. But actually with this money, you should search for some free agents. You can't afford to buy some really expensive players. That's a problem. Okay, now let's check what the board is expecting from us in the next season. Let's see, Greek Super League. Uh, they're expecting uh, to win the Super League this season. Yeah, that's a really nice challenge. So it's going to be a big fight against Olympiakos. Okay, then European Champions Cup, what they're expecting there uh, to reach the playoff the, of the Champions Cup. We know that Tyke is playing Champions League, so this is not uh, such a hard challenge. You should qualify, you should get into a group stage. That's my opinion. Okay, now we are going to check uh, Team Dynamics. So we can see that there is only one team leader, and that's Petros Mantalos. Really good player, really fantastic advanced playmaker. And in my opinion, he's a key player in Ike. But we have one problem. We don't have many players with a high influence. Yeah, and this is what we should change in the future. Okay, now let's see all the players. Let's check the squad. And we can see that the best player, player with the high skill and ability, is Andres Simas, Portuguese central midfield, really nice player. He's 28 years old. Uh, then Marco Livaia, his skill and ability 135, 24 years old striker, Croatian striker, another good player. Then Petros Mantalos, we spoke about him, and I think that he's a key player of this team, and you should try to keep him as long as you can. Yeah. Then Lucas Boy, who is on loan from uh, Torino. Uh, we have a couple of other players like Dimitri Chigrinsky, but he's too slow for some serious football. That's my opinion, especially if you are playing with some high defensive line. He's not useful at all. His acceleration is only 8 and he's 31 years old. So maybe you should try to sell him. That's my opinion. Okay, uh, now let's check uh, some younger players. Are there some interesting players with high potential ability? Actually, I don't see some great potential. Maybe Janis, uh, who has uh, potential ability 100. He's 19 years old, central defender. Christos, he has some nice potential. 121, uh, yeah, he can be good uh, attacking midfielder. Uh, then we see that there is uh, Georgios Janotsus, also solid potential, yeah. Uh, potential ability 118. And uh, 123, that's Kostas Galanopoulos. Also interesting central midfielder. Some nice potential, yeah, 20 years old, Greek. Okay, now let's check under 19 squad. Are there some nice players with some high potential ability? Let's check that. And uh, there are a couple of players like uh, Ilias Celios. He's on loan at Ergotelis, yeah. Then we have Stratos Svanas. Uh, he can be solid uh, central defender, yeah, he has nice physical attributes with some good trainings, he will improve. And Janis Sardelis, uh, potential ability 115. Okay, now let's check formation at, and tactic that I choose for this team. Okay, so this would be my first team, and I will play in this kind of formation. In attack, of course, Croatian advances forward, Marco Livaia, really interesting player. Then on the left side, I would use Christos Albanis. He's a really great physical attributes and not bad dribbling, finishing first touch, crossing. On the right side, I would give chance to Lucas Boye, who is on loan from Torino. For, for that side, we have one more good player, and that's Bacassetas. But I don't like slow players, and this is why I don't uh, want to use him so much. I mean, his pace is only 10, his acceleration is 11, but he has some fantastic technical attributes. I mean, for a wide man, you really need to be fast. 
Then behind uh, them, Mantalos, key player, Petras Mantalos, really fantastic advanced playmaker or attacking midfielder. Uh, I would use Andre Simas as a uh, box to box midfielder. Behind him, Aleph, Brazilian Segundo Volante, also interesting player. A uh, pair of CBs, Uros Josic, Serbian, and Oikonomo, who is on loan from Bologna. I mean, uh, Chigrinski is not bad uh, ball playing defender, but as I said before, he's really slow player, and that's, that's a big problem, especially if you're going to play uh, with some high defensive line. His acceleration and pace are really too low for some serious football, and maybe you should think to sell him. Then uh, wing back on the left side, Hult on the right side, Bakakis, Bakakis, and on the goal, Barkas. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, some players that I would like to sign. Especially we need one classy central defender and maybe one classy uh, central midfielder. So let's check this list. As you know, we don't have some big money in our transfer budget, only half of a million. So this is my short list of some young players and very cheap players. Plus, all these players have some great potential. One of them is Guga, Brazilian wing back. Price between 1 and 3 millions. Then Pasalidis, really interesting central defender. His price is between 1 and 2 millions. Uh, then uh, Stefane Sparagna, French central defender. We really need one more central defender, and this is a really good choice. His price is really nothing between uh, half of million and one uh, eight hundred fifty thousand. That's really nothing. Uh, then Didier Ndong, free agent. Really need to sign this player. Can be really useful. And then Xadas, uh, Portuguese attacking midfielder. But look this. He's really incredible player, at least in the future he can Im be incredible. His potential ability is 143. Don't think too much because his price is between 300,000 uh, and 850,000. That's nothing. And at the end, uh, we maybe need to search for a replacement of Marco Livaya. And this is one incredible kid. That's Dan Jovic, who is playing for Red Star Belgrade. His potential ability is really incredible. That's 160. So don't think too much and try to sign him. His price is between 400,000 and 1 million. That's nothing for such a big potential. Okay, guys, this was my team guide for Greek champion, I Catins. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you and bye-bye.